Let's view the full model by suppressing symmetry. We'll do that using a copy of this geometry. I will close this and I will save the project before I do that and I will save a copy and I'll call it flange and I'll put it in my working folder and I'll say archive. Right now we don't have any results or imported files and if I go back to my working folder I see that created this file .wbpz. <clears throat> go into component systems and drag geometry into the window and I'll call this geometry review. Drag this geometry onto here. Now this geometry refers to this geometry but what I want to do is create a separate copy so I'll delete this link. and then I will bring up this geometry and I will go in here and I'll, I'll look along Y and suppress right click on symmetry and suppress That brings up the full model and the symmetry planes can be viewed by highlighting uh, plane 8 and plane 7 and they are offset by, um, by 0.9 degrees and you know the, the symmetry planes are the local XY planes. If I zoom in here using the right mouse button I can see the single bolt and nut I have. So if I highlight bolt, that's that object, and then nut. If I go down here, this solid refers to this nut and so on. In fact, if you go back here, you see now we have 405 parts, of which we have 200 bolts and 200 nuts. And these these uh, parts are hidden. That's why they are um, they they are you know grayed out here. So I'll right click and say show all bodies, and that shows all the bolts. And if I zoom out using the middle mouse button, and so I can say zoom in here, and I'll be able to see all the bolts and nuts and you can kind of play around with it and it's pretty cool. We have so through the symmetry then we reduce from about you know four and five parts to four parts and we are you know so we are analyzing half a bolt instead of 200 bolts so we have a one four hundredth model.